Hey, hey, everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another video. Hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, I'm having a great day. Um, in this video, this is going to be kind of an extension of our uh, Optifine Max Quality video. I'll use some of the same settings that I have in there are where we're taking Optifine and we're trying to get uh, maximum performance from it. But I want to show you how to think about chunk loading a little bit. All right. So I'm going to recreate this world. It was a decent seed. Nothing really too special about it. But we'll just recreate it so I have a known value. Um, all right. So we're going to use a lot of uh, the F3 screen. So uh, we'll want to uh, try to learn to read that a little bit. Learn to filter out all of the other extraneous data in it all right so if i call up f3 here all right what we're interested in is we're interested in not so much the fps in this video okay I, i'm getting a lot of fps but it's not fps that really matters we're interested in the chunk updates which is right next to the fps all right and i'll try to bring some of this up big on the screen so we can see it better but we're also interested in the memory, all right? And the memory's on the right side in the top right-hand corner, all right? And you can see I have three gigs assigned, um, and I have, alloc of that when it loaded, it only needed 79% of that. That allocated is saying Minecraft at this time with this settings, uh, resource pack, stuff like that. I'm using default resource packs. Needs 79% of that. And then the memory allocation will show you the full usage of the three gigs that are available all right so it's using 35 percent, 35 percent. but what we're interested in uh is the garbage collector all right in java uh there is a, an operation that sweeps through and cleans out all unused memory all right so like if things get caught in memory the gar garbage collector will come and clean those out and it does it in a sweep all right, so we can see right now, if you watch the memory, it'll go up to around 55 or so, and then it'll get knocked down, 57, then it got knocked down to about 25, all right? That's the garbage collector that's working, all right? So watch it. It'll go up to about 50-something, and then get knocked down to 22. Now, we will see potentially a little lag spike in the graph at the bottom right hand of the screen, when that happens all right and that's expected and you use jvm arguments when you set it up to determine the maximum length of those spikes at least a target i mean the garbage collector will do what it needs to do but you're trying to set uh, a target where you don't sense that that little blip because it is a world freezing blip when that happens every java uh, minecraft runs in a single thread and then the garbage collector can use external threads to do the garbage collection, but it inserts into the main loop, all right, of so the Java process, and it can freeze the world, all right, and that's a lag spike. One cause of a lag spike, all right? But you set it in JVM arguments to be a small amount, like 50 milliseconds or something like that, where it's not noticeable at all. So we wanna be sure our chunk loading and our garbage collector are optimized, all right? It's not so much about frame rates in this case as it is about performance, all right? So based on those settings I had for maximum uh, quality, I have chunk update set to five. Now you may not be able to do that on your machine and you may not need to. I also have render regions set, all right? A render region means that it's rendering a chunk region at a time, which is a 32 by 32 chunk area all right and it's trying to render that and one block and then these five up chunk updates tell it that it's going to render that five chunks for each rendered frame it's going to you know try to do that five chunks for each rendered frame all right and then dynamic updates means that it's going to load chunks while i'm standing still more chunks so it's going to force chunks to have a priority when i'm standing still chunk loading uh, and like when you're crafting or something like that, when you wouldn't notice it, you're in a, a GUI or something like that, then that's kind of an ideal setting. All right, so let's start loading new chunks and let's watch our performance and see the targets that we want to get. Now, first of all, my memory allocation, let's talk about that just a little bit because I have it set to 
use about 50% of the memory that I have. All right, so if I'm using, uh, if I've got an allocation, then 50% gives me a good amount of headroom uh, to work with, all right? So I try to target that. But as far as the chunk loading, what I want to see is I want to see the chunks build up and then get knocked down really quickly, all right? As quick as I can. There's 160, 26, uh, 185, 13, 31, 142, 47. And this is at sprint speed, all right? I'm sprinting through the world, but that means my chunks are loading extremely efficiently and smoothly so that when I pop into a section of the world that I haven't seen yet at a distance, then the chunks at a distance, I'm at 14 render distance, will be rendered, all right? And it's not putting a big load on my uh, system really to do that. Yours may vary. Now, if you need, these are the how you think about adjusting your frame rates, all right? Or your render distance, actually. Uh, the frame rate, again, is not as important. What you're concerned about in frame rate is this graph at the bottom when i see a lag spike like that that's the garbage collector as i mentioned i don't want it to uh go higher than 60 frames a second all right if i can help it all right and that'll show up in a color so if it's yellow it's still within the 60 frame if it's red then it's bypassing the 60 frame and that could be noticed as lag you could notice that although it's at a small duration you're not likely to notice it because of that small duration but if that became consistent then you would start to notice it see there was a big lag spike for some reason i'm not sure why but i didn't even notice it, it there's no blip on the screen there's enough uh of a frame rate overhead that's where you kind of want a little bit of fps overhead but it's again about chunk loading all right in this case so again watch the chunk settings don't knock down to zero 164 98 10 4 so i mean we are rendering massive amounts of chunks in a in a single cycle all right because of the render regions because of the amount of chunk updates that are being done and i have the fps overhead to do that but you would want to adjust your settings ideally adjusting the render distance adjusting the number of chunk updates and stuff like that in your settings and render regions if you can handle it to try for these targets all right and again a sprint at a normal world flying is always going to spool a bit more chunks we'll look at later videos about you know optimizing for elytra flight and stuff like that uh from the vanilla minecraft perspective and then mod modded is a whole different world depending upon what mod you have and stuff but i'm sure we'll take some look at that as well but you can see just moving through and and i'm in a uh this is one of the reasons i wanted to do this seed because i'm in a mega taiga right now and so you know mega taiga is a lot of tree rendering and stuff like that but you can see 68, 11, 1, 36, 12, 19. I mean, it's just knocking these chunks out. Just knocking them out. Now, when you're in a forest, uh, because we have smart animations on and stuff like that, you know, a lot of things are being obscured, like this flowing water. It wouldn't have been rendered until I got, you know, where I could see it, where it was visual on the screen. Um, and so that's how kind of how that setting works. And again, keep in mind, if I stop because of dynamic updates, if I'm behind on my chunk rendering, as soon as I stop and craft something or even cut down a tree, I don't think it's considered moving, then you've your chunk renderer will increase in priority to start to render more chunks to catch you back up, all right, if you get behind, all right? But ideally, you want to avoid getting behind if you can, uh, so kind of tune those settings so again what you're seeing in my opinion for right now and what i've been working on here for my system is a perfectly optimized minecraft that is running super efficient as far as chunk loading uh and memory usage all right the garbage collector is running extremely efficiently um i'll share my jvm arguments in the um in the description they're not very detailed they're based upon mojang's recommended ones that they use in the vanilla launcher with just a few more optimization parameters 
uh, to help uh, Java compress some of the uh, stuff that it's using in relationship to code, like string deduplication and stuff like that. All right. So again, I, I want to keep this video kind of short, but I want you to, uh, you know, again, look at the um, graph at the bottom to see that I'm reaching into the yellow, never into the red at very, very imperceptible spikes um, with a very efficient memory usage and chunk rendering. And so if you're trying to optimize your Minecraft experience, uh, again, I have a lot of frame rate overhead. So the frame rate is not really what I'm concerned about. I mean, I, I would want to try to get this efficient with uh, shaders and stuff like that as well. But the important thing is that, you know, this system is running extremely efficient, extremely efficient. So there's 206 chunk updates, knocked it down to 55, knocked it down to four. So with just in a couple of render cycles, I knock out this great big chunk list. And so I found personally for me that the 14 render distance is the most tuned for this as far as what I can see off in the distance, what I want to see off in the distance, what chunks are available to me, how the fog handles the chunks, and then how they load. All right. Uh, if I go up to 16, of course, it's fine. I, I could go up to 24 or whatever before it really starts to not be able to truly keep up. Um, and it's, it's, you know, chunks are getting behind which means you start to see chunks uh, depending on your render distance, fog setting, stuff like that. But I found for me that 14 is the most uh, optimized for playability of seeing at a distance and rendering these chunks. So flying is kind of a different animal that we'll look at in more detail. But anyway, guys, I hope that was helpful to you as far as how to think about this kind of stuff. Uh, and then how to optimize your Minecraft depending upon the capabilities of your computer. Um, again, not considering frame rate in this case, but chunk loading speed and memory usage. Anyways, it's Scott Omato. Leave a like if you like. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I do so much appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.